What's up everybody? It's Network Brett. Today I'm talking about my new position. I've been a network administrator for, I don't know, about a month. Um, I left my NOC position. I've talked about my NOC position in the past. It was mostly a, a, a great job. Uh, just boring. Wasn't really getting the experience I wanted and the company I was at. They didn't exactly have the stuff I wanted to work on, basically. Uh, I wanted to get a really wide range of networking. I wanted to learn how to administrator users, uh, different security things, setting up new systems, you know, everything. I just want to touch everything in a network, know a little bit about a lot. Uh, my last position wasn't giving me that. So I took this uh, network administrator position and it is, it is kind of crazy. Uh, it is so wildly different. You know, before I just had my regular 40 hours, uh, four tens actually, great schedule, very easy to adjust around. I I had the option for overtime, but I didn't really need to take it much. Really just a great job. This new position is a lot more contract-based. Um, the schedule is completely just crazy because a lot of the stuff is kind of one-off type of things like we might go to a mansion one day to set up a bunch of different Wi-Fi access points. Uh, another day we might be running wires through ceilings. Another day we're hooking up Cisco Marikai switches. I, I always pronounce that wrong. I don't know. Marikai? Anyways. <laughs> I'm doing a lot. And, you know, even a lot of times I have like a, a different laptop, not the one I use to film videos but I have to log in remotely to things and I have to just handle the most random issues you could think about. And it is exactly what I was looking for. You know, I've always heard people say online, if you really want to get tech experience and just get your hands dirty, try to get in at an MSP. And that's exactly what I try to do. I saw a network administrator position at an MSP I basically told him in the interview, like, hey, I, I, I want to learn all this stuff. This is the perfect opportunity for me. I mean, that's it. I didn't ask about pay or anything. It's just, I feel like this will take me closer to being a network engineer. That's really what I want to do. I'm, that's been my goal for years now. Uh, as a knock technician, I just wasn't getting the experience. So, just straight up, hey. Please give me this job. <laughs> Basically, I'll take a pay cut. I don't care. I, I really just wanted to learn the stuff. And uh, I'm just going to go through some pictures of, of kind of what I've been doing. So I'll just talk through it because there's, there's no easier way to do it. Some days I go in and uh, they'll have these hard drives to hook up. Other days I'm literally checking you know, a Cat6 or phone line wiring on the wall. Now, this stuff, I'm not as interested in this, but it's not bad work. Um, you know, I've done many really bad construction jobs, like 13-hour days in the sun. If I have to wire something up and, and check something, that's not a big deal. Uh, here's just another hard drive I was putting in this, uh, I think this is a DDR, I can't even remember. I've, it's just so busy. Then, you know, you're hooking up wires a lot. These can get a little tedious. Uh, checking them is kind of annoying. It's not the best. But when you think, oh, you know, I'm getting paid just to sit here and hook these little wires up, like, that's a pretty good gig. Uh, now the troubleshooting method, I'll get to that in a second. You have to know how to think for this type of position. And uh, I don't even know why I took a picture of that. It's not that interesting. Uh, we're hooking up these. These are like punch blocks. So basically you hook the wires up to the other side of this. And then if you're not familiar. And then just an ethernet or a phone line. Or you could just use the ethernet as a phone line. Uh, I'm literally making these 
So if, you, if you've never done that, it's a process and you got to learn how to do it. But it's not that bad. Like I said, if your job is to sit there and, and make a wire work, that's a pretty good job. And if it comes with on top of, you know, I wouldn't call this physical. But I mean, you are kind of standing. It's honestly just kind of fun because I, the last 15 months, I've just been at a desk. So if I'm walking around a building, walking back and forth, checking for wires and stuff, it's pretty fun. Like, it makes the day go by quick. Nothing nothing wrong with that. Um, this is somebody's house we went in. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to take many pictures of people's houses, but this one was pretty cool. And this just goes to show the variety of being a network administrator. You're just everywhere, you know. And I made sure that there's nothing in this house that you would know whose house that is or anything. Uh, this is, I was working by the beach one day. So, another thing that's just interesting, where before I was at the same place every single day, which is fine. I don't mind that. It's also pretty fun to do this. So, the other day I pull up and it's like, all I know is I'm going near a beach. And somebody's phone line isn't working in their room. So I'm kind of thinking, I thought it was residential first. Then I looked up like, oh, it's like a commercial building. I had no idea what I was getting into. This is where it's kind of funny. Um, I walk into this thinking, okay, it's going to be a simple, like, just check the wire on the wall. Check whatever it's coming from. It's probably coming from, like, a, I don't know, spectrum router or something. A lot of times, voice over IP. Super simple. It's from the modem to the wall. Super simple thing to troubleshoot. Um, I get there. I'm looking for the <laughs> wait till you see the whole thing. This is what I pull up to. So I get there. All I know, really, all the information I have is uh, this phone line is not working. Then I, I'm seeing this and I'm like, oh man, oh man. So, what well, we, we use like a toning tool where you stick the thing that sends the signal in the wall and it just beeps really loud if you put something up against the wire. So this thing is sending a signal through the wire and if you use this other tool, touch the wire anywhere where it's connected, it'll make the noise. So, you know, trying to find this, this is like hallways down. I'm like, okay, put the toner on it. But the problem is this actually, you can't, let me see if I can zoom in. No, for some reason, Facebook won't let me zoom in. Uh, so, these are metal. And when you hook up a lot of these wires and you send a signal through it, then it actually sometimes will just, the whole aisle, basically, or the whole rack, like one layer of it, every single wire on it might send, send the signal. Now, so I'm thinking like, oh man, this is bad. How do I find the right wire? It turns out they were numbered. <laughs> and uh, we had to do some other troubleshooting with this. But this is just the kind of thing uh, working at a MSP might it, it just might be things like this. So, you know, you pull up to a job and you see this, it's going to stress you out. <laughs> I promise you that. You're like, oh man, this could be a nightmare. This one actually turned out to be very simple. Uh, if you ever have to do any type of cabling, whether it's Cat6, coaxial, or whatever, it's probably the wall jack. Um, not every time, but in my time working with both it seems like very often it is the wall jack so that's kind of my notes as a network administrator it is just completely crazy it's completely different my schedule's chaotic uh every now and then i have to log in real quick at like eight at night just to to check on something that's like of high importance so yeah it's it's crazy I feel like some of my peace, <laughs> some of my peace was taken from me getting this new job. 
but it's also exactly what I wanted. It is exactly the type of experience I wanted and, and I couldn't wish for a better job in my journey to become a network engineer.